Welcome to Evolution of Self with me, Britannia. I was very privileged to be asked to facilitate the Conscious Cafe 10th birthday over the weekend. And it was all about gratitude. And I'd been asked to join because I started up a gratitude group a number of years ago. And I guess people have heard about it and wanted me to talk about it. But the reason I'm talking about it here on this week's episode is because the wonderful thing about Conscious Cafe, it's about having conversations that change lives. And you share a question and then you get together in a small group of people and you mull over the question and all sorts of wonderful, interesting insights and perspectives come out of that. And because it was gratitude, there were two questions and the questions were, how would your life change if you were grateful for everything in your life? And the other question was, what would need to change for you to be grateful for everything in your life? And what came out of that for me, I suppose the biggest insight was, hang on, I'm going to back up a little bit. So what would need to change for me, for me to be great, grateful for everything in my life, would be to let go of the resistance, um, let go of... Um, the resistance to the uncomfortable parts of life. And then the insight that I had through this whole conversation and listening to all sorts of other wonderful people share their ideas and insights in these two questions was that I realised that gratitude itself is the tool to help you dissolve the resistance. And that if you can start to be grateful for those uncomfortable moments in your life, for the things that aren't working and that are going wrong, if you can choose, because gratitude is a choice, everything in your life is a choice, in those uncomfortable moments, if you can choose at that time to be grateful, then what it is that's making you uncomfortable dissolves. Um, and I've been trying it. I mean, this has only been a couple of days since I've had this ha ha. <laughs> so it hasn't been long, but I've been trying and played with it over the weekend and it was quite profound. Um, I wouldn't say that it's necessarily easy because when you're in those uncomfortable, painful moments, um, you don't necessarily want to be grateful for them. <laughs> In fact, quite often what happens is you're triggered to a sort of a survival mechanism that wants to fight against, plan, um, change. And the last thing that you really feel like doing most of the time is to sit in that discomfort and try and find something to be grateful about it. I'm not sure if I've mentioned before, but um, Abraham Hicks, who I listen to a lot, they talk about the different vibrations of emotions and how we have a choice to change how we feel about things by choosing to feel differently. And they advise sort of working slowly up through the emotion, emotional scales. And I'll put a link down to their emotional scale below so you can see how they rate the different emotions vibrationally. And gratitude and appreciation are some of the highest um, emotions that we can feel. So in that moment when things aren't going how you want them to go in your life and you're most likely feeling one of the more lower vibrationary <laughs> feelings about what's happening in your life, in that moment, when you choose to look for something great and you choose to be grateful, then you're automatically shifting your vibration up the emotion, the, up the vibrational scale. But I think even more profound is that I found that when I chose to be grateful for something that wasn't necessarily, I couldn't see the benefit in in that moment, it was like that thing that I was fighting just disappeared and dissolved. Now, what gave me the idea about this is that quite often I work with clients on restoring <laughs> their lives or restoring something in their life that until then they've given a very bad meaning to. And it's a really wonderful, powerful way to heal the past is to look back and find something positive in a situation that until then you've only viewed negatively. So for instance, I mean, I talk about my divorce, it's something that's happened and you, <laughs> if you've been listening to me, you're most likely aware of it. But I've gone back and I've reworked that and I see a lot of, I mean, there's immense, wonderful things that have happened in that relationship. And although I chose to leave the relationship, I don't regret it. And if I had my time again, I'd go and do it again because what I gained from the relationship was so much more positive than the negative stuff that I experienced at the time. And if I look back on all of the situations in my life that I would classify as negative, um, <laughs> actually, as I say this, and I, and I do believe this, there is no positive and negative. And I suppose that's why I'm saying 
To choose to be grateful for something as it's unfolding means that you take the sting out of it right from the beginning because there is so much benefit from everything that we experience. And if we choose to look for the good in it, not just after it's happened, but actually as it's unfolding, then the whole process becomes a lot less painful. Another thing that Abraham Hicks, and I seem to be rattling about them today, but they are absolutely amazing. Another thing that I've taken from one of the things that I've listened to about them is how the universe or source, whatever it is you call it, God, Allah, is trying to get you from wherever you are to wherever it is you want to go in the shortest amount of time and the quickest route. And sometimes that quickest route is really uncomfortable. Sometimes it takes loss. Sometimes it takes hurt or heartbreak. Sometimes it takes abuse. Sometimes it takes something that is truly uncomfortable for us to realise something or see it differently or change our behaviour or any number of things which Source can see and knows that those things will cause us to change, whereas we might not necessarily see them in the moment. Um, and that's the thing that you're looking to be grateful for, is to sit in the moment and ask yourself, what is this trying to teach me? What do I have to learn from this situation? And to then, right then, in the middle of all the craziness that's going on and the hurt and the pain and the anger, is to choose to be grateful for that moment. And if for no, no other reason, and you can't find any other reason, there's a reason to be grateful for just experiencing life, because without the pain, we can't truly appreciate the pleasure. I hope you've enjoyed this week's offering. If you want to find out more about me or any of my online courses or to take me on as a coach, then you'll find all my details either on my social media or on my website, which the links to which are below. And if you've enjoyed this episode, please make sure you subscribe so you don't miss out any future ones as we go along. Lots of love and have a fabulous weekend. Bye bye.